Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Well, hello, hello, hello. Well, how's everybody doing today? <laughs> it is like almost a hundred degrees here in New Jersey today. I believe my thermometer outside said it was like 97 degrees. So I was lucky because I purchased a soap a few days ago that I came across on Amazon. Very well known soap brand um, by Mr. Fine or Fine. And it's the Italian Citrus. And I cannot believe I've waited this long to pick up this soap. Because you know, see it says Italian Citrus right there. Because you know one of my favorite scents out there in shaved them is the aqua department colonia the older formula where it had that awesome italian citrusy scent and my favorite was p or is p Incenza from sterling but what turned me on to that scent a while back was razor rock triple x i also have the razor rock gold label which is that same scent and i also have the paa Aqua D, which is no longer made. Boo on you, Douglas. Love this scent. So, I have been always on a quest for that scent, that Aqua de Parma Colonia, but the older, the newer Aqua de Parma de Colonia does not smell like this does. So, yeah, so I was cruising on Amazon. I didn't even know I had fine products on there, and I came across the Italian citrus. And let me tell you, Mm, it is, I don't want to say it's totally exactly the same as the P. Incenza, but it's dang close. And to me, it's a Aqua de Parma kind of a spiel. So, that's what I'm going to shave with today. And since I'm using the fine Italian citrus, I'm going to go with the old, I call it the Shuttlecraft from Star Trek, the original series. But this is the fine marble. Yeah, why not? Let me go with the fine marble since I am using the fine soap. Um, brush today decided, you know, I really want to go with the flat top today. So I got the 24 millimeter DS Cosmetics flat top. And let me tell you, this lather whipped up like in seconds. And it's nice yogurty, uh, mm, like whipped cream. And the scent for me is that spot on. I'm going to pop up the ingredients now. Boop. And you can scope it out. But yes, I am so happy that I found another artisan that makes that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that I may have been told this in the past. That the fine uh, Italian citrus is the uh, kind of the same as the Aqua de Parma. I went on their website and they claim it to be also. That they modeled the scent off of the Aqua de Parma de Colonia. Uh, <laughs> uh, from like the original 1900s, 1916 formula. But I like it. I like it a lot. So, let's get this cruising. My whole head is banged up. I've been working outside. So, I've been taking a couple hits in the head. Still have those stupid ingrown hairs. But I don't care. I'm so happy that this is a scent that... I totally dig. I was a little worried because it's so hot out today that the soap was going to come and melt it. Because when I ordered this, I only ordered this a few days ago and I wasn't thinking about the, uh, the weather. And I wasn't sure how the soap would react to heat, but it came out fine. I got Amazon tracking, like, you know, around here. It was being delivered by Amazon. They usually send you a little text message that it's either, like, you know, maybe 10 stops away from your house, and then you could track it. So the second one went out for delivery. Since Amazon Warehouse is less than a mile from here, they delivered a lickety split. So... 
the soap wasn't even warm when it got delivered, so I got lucky. I guess I was just afraid of it melting it, it being 100 degrees outside. And I wish we would get some rain. They are calling for some rain, but who knows? Oh, by the way, in that fine marble razor today is a Persona Platinum in the blue the blue packaging. Alrighty. Fine Marvel Razor. Persona Platinum. On its first use, by the way. I believe I asked a fellow YouTuber that has definitely done videos on the soap. I believe I asked them the other day if this smelled like the, like, you know, that Aqua Department. I believe they told me no, but maybe I heard wrong. But for me, this is a dead ringer for the for all the other homages to uh, the Aqua Department. I mean, it smells pretty much just like the Pincenza. The Triple X and the Aqua D and the Razor Rock Gold Label. It's just one of my favorite scents out there. And since I'm not a cologne kind of guy, that's what's so strange because it is a cologne based scent. But I like it because it's citrus based. which also makes it a great summer scent, even though one of my favorite times of year to use this scent of a soap is winter time. Because I like nice citrusy scents when it's cold outside. It may sound a little weird to some people, but That's the way I like it. I love summer scents in the winter time. I do also like winter scents or fall scents in the winter time also or in the summer. That is really good. I realize I got lather all over my shirt there. And on my ear. Of course, right? Yeah, it's wickedly hot here. In fact, my air conditioner, the central air has not stopped since it was turned on like a week ago. We just had really hot weather here. We definitely could use some rain just to break up this heat. Really good residual slickness on this fine soap. You know, to tell you the truth, I think this is my first soap from fine. I have a couple aftershave splashes from them, but I don't have, this was this from 99% sure this is the first soap. I think I might have had some samples from some people who sent me in the past, but this is the first tub of soap that I bought from Fine. Now, I did pick it up on Amazon because I do have lots of Amazon credit because I always get Amazon gift cards for gifts and for birthday. So, I know it's hard for artisans to put their soaps on Amazon because I suppose you have to give them a pretty good supply and I know there's stories behind it because I've talked to a couple artisans about that back in the past so I'm actually happy I found this on Amazon the only one of their soaps I think that I didn't see on Amazon 
was the fine aquamarine because that is also on my hit list. Because I heard that that is an awesome scent. But this Italian citrus, this of course is right in my ballpark. Or wheelhouse or neighborhood or <laughs> is definitely for me. I love it. And like I says, my favorite version of this scent is by Sterling. Which, of course, we now was called P. Incenza. But I'll tell you one thing. I am definitely enjoying it. From fine. Um, the only difference I've also noticed is that. This soap, I think, was $22 for five ounces. And the sterling is $13 and change. So you figure it out yourself there, folks. But the ease of getting it through Amazon for me was a winner because, like I said, I have lots of credit or say gift card credit on Amazon. So that's always a winner for me. Plus, when I order through Amazon, I don't have to have any kind of arguments with my wife because she really never ever questions Amazon purchases as if I buy something and it says shaving or razor oriented. <laughs> That's why the Razor Company should rename themselves as an Joe Plumber and Son. Because I could definitely order some plumbing supplies and have it be shaving stuff instead. <laughs> there should be a uh, there should be a little tab on checkout that says my credit card charge will say Joe's plumbing or Bob's electrical supply and not shaving gear. <laughs> Just a little joke there, but some of you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, I think uh, I think that's gonna be it, there, friends. Empty the old two months to think. That's pretty good slickness, there. Let me tell you. Wow, lots of hairs in the old. Sea monster sink today. Say now my water is no longer cold. It's like just room temperature because it's so hot outside. So friends, if you are a fan of Aqua de Parma Colonia the original Colonia scent this is definitely a home run I'm happy I actually got this because I can't remember if you know a few folks in the past have told me that this soap Lancaster Towel that this soap is pretty much on that same realm of Aqua de Parma, Colonia, of the other soaps I have. So I am just so glad it is, because now I have another alternative for that scent that I love. And for my buddy Jeremy Tyler out there, who does not like the word Piacenza, you can go with some fine Amer Italian. I almost said American. Italian citrus, because I know Fine also has American blend, which 
Eventually I will get that too. They have so many good soaps at Fine. Because I've had many samples. But I'll tell you what. The Fine Italian Citrus is definitely a winner for me. And that was with the Fine Marvel Razor today. I just nicknamed it the Shuttlecraft because that reminds me of this. Starship Enterprises Shuttlecraft, the Galileo from the original series. And I use the DS Cosmetics 24 millimeter flat top today. Of course, it was whipped up in the Timeless Ball, and that lather is just its very nice and creamy. Very nice and creamy. Have so much left. Hopefully, maybe my wife can utilize this but that's good stuff all righty so like i said that was a fine italian citrus with the old fine marvel razor with a persona platinum in there Ooh, let me just turn that around and let's finish this shave off with looks like i got myself right there Let's finish this shave off with the matching aftershave splash. Nice stuff, right? <laughs> I've already opened up and smelled this, and man. Invigorating for me. Because it's the... Wow. Smells so great. Has that perfect... Aqua de Parma scent that I love and both these products came in nice boxes so if you like to display your products they come with nice like gift boxes to put the, the products in alright so that was the matching aftershave splash fine Italian citrus or Mr. Fine. <laughs> I know when I was searching, I was like, I was typing in Fine and it wasn't coming up. And I had to type in Mr. Fine. All right. So if you enjoyed today's Fine Italian Citrus Shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, pfft, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my channel. I love all my subscribers. You guys are great. And until next shave, Glenn signing off. Mm -hmm.